Hello there, my beautiful kings and queens. How y'all doing out there? Bless! You better know, you better believe it, and you sure look better live it. Today, I have another treat. I'm going to read a poem from my book of poetry called Exposed Emotions. You can get it on Amazon, and you can get it on my website, www.lifecoach.com worksllc.com or you just inbox me but anyway the name of this poem is called esteem <clears throat> i reach for the untainable the devastation of rejection is unexplainable my tolerance for being unloved is incredible the way i hide my pain is mystical to try to explain it would be unreasonable Will I ever find happiness? Sometimes it's unthinkable. The many faces I wear are interchangeable. If you can read my mind, you find it unfathomable. I appear to be all together. Inside, I feel unstable. Sharing these feelings may be far less than wonderful. But, what, but if I did not write them down, it would be regrettable. How I go on each day is truly a miracle. Somehow I make it. It's unbelievable. To do it on my own would be illogical. But I know with God all things are possible. The love he has for me is irreversible. The joy he brings is irreplaceable. To deny his love is irresponsible. His grace and mercy inexplicable. No one can ever take his place. No one is capable. His name is Jehovah. He is unchangeable. The power of his name is totally unmatchable. He has made me glad. How exceptional. The magnitude of his glory is inconceivable. I hope you enjoyed that poem today. Anyway, let's pray, y'all. Dear God, Heavenly Father, Heavenly God, God of all God of all creation God of all that exists God who can't even be boxed into a single word you are our mother you are you are our father you are our mother you are our everything God we thank you we praise you we bless you we magnify you you are our protector you are our the giver of life, the lifter of our heads. You are everything that we need and even things that we are unaware that we need. We thank you, God, for this day. Thank you, God, for waking us up once again, clothed in our right minds with the activities of our limbs. Thank you, God, for watching over us, protecting us, keeping us safe from danger, seen, unseen, known, and unknown. Thank you, God, for another day to forgive and to be forgiven. Thank you, God. No evil shall come now our dwelling. None shall overtake us. Thank you, God. Every plan, every plot, every scheme, every strategy, every story, every lie, every setup, every spell, every ungodly incantation, every negative word spoken to against or about us and all who all that concerns us every curse that has been launched out against us and against all who is connected to us we thank you god those things are broken they shall not come to pass they will not prosper they will not succeed against us we thank you god for revealing to us god what and who we can trust and what and who we cannot Thank you, God, for causing our true enemies to become confused and war against each other instead of against us. Thank you, God, for even causing them to reveal themselves even without them knowing. We thank you, God. If you be for us, who can be against us? We thank you, God, that this is the day that you have made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you for traveling mercies. We thank you for the angels you've given charge to watch over, to protect us, and all who and all that concerns us. We thank you, God, for giving us favor with men and with you wherever is needed. All of our bills are paid all of a full time. We owe no one anything except the love you give us to give them. We pray that you increase our discernment. Grant us the wisdom, the knowledge, the understanding, the self-control, the bold this and the courage to live the life that you God have given us to live despite who don't agree with it despite who don't believe it 
who don't even think that we deserve all that you have blessed us with. We thank you for blessing us to be a blessing. We pray that you bless those who bless us and those who try to curse us. We thank you, God, that you will deal with them according to their deeds. We're praying, God, for people who are in places of war and famine, those who hunger, those who thirst, those who are needed the right visitation, those, God, who are in any type of detainment or confinement that should not be. We pray for those who are grieving the loss of loved ones and their livelihoods, especially because of the hands of the wicked. We pray, God, that those who are responsible for the hurt and harm to others, that they would be held accountable and responsible, Lord God. We thank you, God, that the works of the wicked is destroyed. And we thank you, God, for blessing us with this brand new day, a day that we've never seen before, one we'll never see again. And we just bless your holy name, God. We thank you for blessing our places of prayer places of residence, means of transportation, jobs, finances, schools, children's schools, daycare, and all God that concerns us. And we thank you. Our businesses are blessed. The place that we work is blessed. We thank you, God, for blessings with everything we need, exceedingly abundantly above all we can ever ask, even think, even imagine to even think to ask, Lord God. And we just thank you. We just praise you, God. And we pray that you're glorified in what we say, do, and all that we think. And we thank you, God, everything we eat, drink, and use is blessed, despite what people try to do to it to cause us any type of harm. And we give your name to praise, and we thank you. And we got, God, we pray that you bless everyone who is celebrating this, this holiday weekend, Lord God, those who celebrate the holidays. We pray that, that the gatherings will be be pleasant God and we just thank you and we praise you in the name of Christ we pray amen thank you people God for praying for me thank you for allowing me to read my uh, a poem from my book of poetry and also it's getting hot out here so if you have not invested in one get you one of these it's a neck fan <laughs> anyway 